a language is equal to W belongs to A star. Meaning of this one is every language over A star. So how we can write the grammar for this? Grammar is having a starting symbol S or you can take any variable as a starting symbol. So here we will take S. S is my starting symbol. So and every grammar is having the production. So A, A star that means this grammar is producing epsilon. So our grammar will have epsilon as a production. So I am going to write epsilon over here. And A star means single A, 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 A. Like this we can uh, write the uh, strings. So here we can write grammar like this. A, S. So how we can produce the grammar? Our language will have, this language will have epsilon because it is a A star. So epsilon, single A. Single A, if I take A, S and for this A, S, this A, S, then A, Epsilon. I am getting A. If I want A, A, then again I will put A, S as a A, S, then A, A and for this S, we will put Epsilon. Like this, we can take any, any string with the help of, with the help of this given grammar. So, this is the grammar for First example. Now second example is L is equal to omega belongs to A comma B star. That means every string or all string of sigma is equal to A comma B. So again how we can write the grammar. So A comma B star that means epsilon is our uh, one production for our grammar. So we will take S as a starting symbol. Okay. Epsilon will be my production. Then I want string means our language will have epsilon single a single b a b a a b b any combination over a comma b so all this string we can produce with the help of this language so how we can write the uh, grammar a s this after s i can take any any number of s and later on B S. This will be the grammar. That means what? Suppose I want to produce A B B. This string. I want to produce A B B. So how we can produce this string? S A B B. A is my starting character. So we will take this as a production. So A S. Later on I want B. After this A I want B. So we can put S as a BS production. So here we will put BS. Okay. Now I got this B string over here. B character. Again I want B over here. So for this B we will put A B B S. Okay. Now I got this A B B. So there is a slash zero. So here we will put as a epsilon for S. So this production will put here. So I am getting A, B, B as a substring sub uh, string with the help of this grammar. So this is the grammar for second example. Now third example. Palindrome with middle symbol is C. As we know palindrome how we can write. Here we are going to consider sigma is equal to A comma B. So our palindrome will be A, C, A. Because our statement is having middle symbol is C. So A C A B C B A B C B A. All these are the example of palindrome with middle character will be C. That means what? This is a palindrome condition. So how we can write the grammar for such type of example? So here for first example, this first example we will take S A is a starting symbol. Now, middle character is C. Middle character is C. That means our minimum string will be C. Okay. So here our production will have C. Will have C as a production. In previous example, epsilon. Because our language tells us A comma B star. Star is producing epsilon. So here C will be our uh, minimum uh, string. So C will be the production. Now 
I want A C A like this. So how we can write this one? A C A. I can write A S A. Okay. Finally, we will put this S as a C middle character. Then same string B C B. So how we can write production for this? B S B. B S B. So these two production we will write. And later on this S we will put with this C. So how we can produce A, A, B, C, B, A. This is a string. We will check how it will execute. So first character is A. Later on this is a B. Then this one is a B. So how we can take? So first we will take A as A as a production. S is giving A as A. Now I want B character, okay? B character. So we will put this production for this S. So A B S B A, okay? B S B. So this production for this S. Now I want C character. Next character is C. So A B C B A. So for this we put S tends to C as a production. So we got this as a string. With the help of this grammar. So in this way we can write the grammar for first example. Now second example is odd length palindrome. Odd length palindrome or sigma is equal to a comma. This is the answer of first. Okay. Now second example. Same. This is the same like this one. But here no middle character is given. So middle character may be either A or B. Okay. So here how we can write the grammar? Same way we can write A S A B S B and middle character may be A or B. Either A or either B. So in this way we can write the odd length palindrome. Okay, so our length palindrome is our minimum string will be either A or B. Okay, now next even length palindrome. Even length palindrome. If we consider, this is our second time. Now third, if we consider zero as zero as a positive number or the even number, then our string will have epsilon as a production. If we consider two as even even number. Then epsilon won't be there. Okay. Now here we are going to consider two minimum string length should be two. Now how we can write the palindrome in same way, but our production for this will be changed. So how we can write logic will be same. A S A B S B, and here minimum string will be here A A or B B. Okay, A A or B B. So let us consider my string is A A B B A A. This is a even length palindrome. Even length palindrome A A B B A A. So how we can uh, write this with the help of this grammar? So first character I want A. So we'll take this as a production. So I change to A S A. Later on again I want this A. So for this S we will write. Again, A S A as a production. Okay. Now we want next character as a B. Okay, B B. So how we can write B B? This is this is the middle part. So here we can take directly this production. So we will get A A B B A A as a string. So we are getting string with the help of above grammar. So this is our third example. Even length palindrome. Now next is all types of palindrome means even length as well as odd length. So how we can write this? This is the combination of these two. Okay, this is the combination of these two grammar. So how we can write again? S is my starting symbol, which is in capital letter A S A, then B S B. If we took A A and B B, then This expression or this grammar is for even length palindrome or A or B. If we do, then this will be helpful for odd length palindrome. So let us consider our example is A B B. So this is a 
or like palindrome a b b so how we can derive it a a s a with sorry a b a a b a so how we can take this one with the help of this production so a s a and for this s we put this as a b with the help of this production okay and if my string is a b b a so here again a s a and later on for this s we will put b b a this b b a okay so this string or this grammar will have minimum minimum string length will be one if it is a odd length palindrome and minimum length two if it is a even length palindrome so in this way we can write the grammar for this palindrome now next is a L is equal to a raised to n, b raised to n, where n is greater than zero. So how we can write the grammar for this one? So again, this is our starting symbol. If we observe a number, a number of string is equal to b number of string. Means this count and this count is same. And here n length, length of the our um, this expression is greater than zero. So minimum string will be a b. Minimum string will be a b. If it is a n is greater than or equal to zero, then minimum string will be epsilon. Okay. Now how we can write the grammar? So here a b. So here same way a s b. Instead of palindrome here we took a s a, but here we take a s b because this. Length and this a character length and b character length is same and minimum string will be a b. Now, if my n is equal to two, if n is equal to two, my string will be a a b b. So how we can produce it? A first we'll take a s b. Okay. Later on we'll put s as a a b. So I will get a b and b. So this is a, a raised to two, b raised to two. Okay, so in this way we can derive the string with the help of above grammar. Now next is a next example is a write a grammar for balance parenthesis. We know balance parenthesis means we can write parenthesis like this. Okay, either this one or this one, again this one, this one, or only this one. In this way, our grammar, uh, how we can write the grammar for such type of example. So, here our character or determinants will be uh, these brackets, opening and the closing bracket. Okay. In previous example, our sigma was a comma b, means terminals were a comma b. Now, here how we can write. So, s is my starting symbol. Okay starting symbol so here we will write this s like this okay and finally we will put s as a epsilon so how we can uh, derive with the help of this production we can directly write, uh, derive like this s this string is possible with the help of this one but we want like this this is not possible with the help of this one so how we can derive so one more production is needed which will give such type of parenthesis. So here we will take one more as this will be S S and then epsilon. Okay. So this S S will give all type of complete or the balanced parenthesis. This production will give only this type of parenthesis. Okay. So we will uh, check for this example. This is the example. So how we can write it. So first of all, I want this one. Okay. I want this bracket. So we'll take this as a, this as a production. So S tends to S1. Now later on, if we observe this one, I want opening bracket. So this one. But if we observe this, these are the two brackets. Two, uh, means two balance parenthesis. So here we'll take S as like this okay so for this s we put like this and for this s later on we put like this so for this s we put epsilon so we will we'll get the answer with the help of this production 
Okay. So in this way we can derive the string with the help of this grammar parenthesis. So here our terminals are opening and closing brackets. So usually you used to write grammar in this way. Okay. So write grammar like this. Okay. Now next is L is equal to A raised to N, B 2 raised to N. Means whatever number of A is B is having double of that count. Okay. A count, B count is double of A. Means our string will be, minimum string will be A, B, B, A, A, B, 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 like this. And N is greater than 0. Okay. N is greater than 0. So same way we can write the grammar for this. So how we can write? Here S tends to A. B count is double than A. So here as middle term will be as and then B B. Okay. So minimum N is greater than 0. So here we'll write A B B will be my string. Minimum string will be A B B. Or here we can put S as a epsilon. But if we put S as a epsilon, then uh, epsilon is also possible. So we cannot take epsilon over here. So minimum term will be or minimum string will be A, B, B. And S tends to A, S, B, B. So this is what the grammar. So we can easily show A, A, B, 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 B. How? So first we will take this grammar. Later on for this S, we will put this A, B, B. So we will get this string. So this is the grammar for this example. Now here we will write the grammar for if or if else statement. We know the syntax of is if statement. If then in bracket expression and then statement. This is the syntax of if statement. And what is the syntax of if else? If in bracket expression then statement else statement. Okay. So this is the syntax or the grammar of if and if else statement. So here this expression may be conditional expression or the arithmetic expression anything. And these statements may be function call or any uh, addition subtraction or any um, number of lines of code may be over there. So here we will take this expression for this expression we will take e as a variable or the non-terminal and for this statement we will take s as a non-terminal. Same here e as a expression and statement for this s as a non-terminal. Okay. So how we can write the grammar for this example. So s is my starting symbol. So if, if in bracket expression. So if, if keyword is important. Then in bracket expression. So this expression. Okay. If in bracket expression. Then statement. So this statement we can write like this. Okay. Or if in bracket. If in bracket expression. Else statement. Okay. If in bracket expression statement. Else statement. So again there is a else and then statement. Okay. This is the grammar for this if and if else. So this is the grammar. Now for this e and s. Again this e is a expression which is a non-terminal. So that expression may be any kind of expression that is depend on user. Okay. And this S stands for S is any statement. Any statement. So this is nothing but here also we can write. So right now there won't be any space. That's why I have written S over here. So in this way we can write a grammar for if else statement. Thank you. If you like this video, click on like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Click on bell button to get notification of new videos. Thank you.